The Massachusetts Department of Mental Health, also known as DMH, is an essential part of health care. There are four main components that we focus on to help promote mental health. These include early intervention support through recovery, treatment offered through supportive services for individuals with serious mental illnesses, education, which includes mental health training and research, and policy to help guide decisions and achieve outcomes so that all residents of the Commonwealth may live full and productive lives. The Department of Mental Health assures and provides access to services and support to meet the mental health needs of individuals of all ages, including children, adolescents, and adults, enabling them to live, work, and participate in their communities. The department establishes standards to ensure effective and culturally competent care to promote recovery. The Department of Mental Health sets policy, promotes self-determination, protects human rights, and supports mental health training and research. This critical mission is accomplished by working in partnership with other state agencies, individuals, families, providers, and the communities in Massachusetts. Information about who may apply for mental health services through DMH can be viewed through the link below. You, as an applicant, the applicant's legal guardian, licensed clinician, or a family member can apply. It is required that a release of information form be signed by the applicant. The application must be delivered to the DMH site office. Within 20 days of the receipt of the completed application, DMH will contact you or your legally authorized representative, LAR, for an intake meeting to determine appropriate services. All decisions must be made within 90 days after DMH receives the application. DMH will contact you through email, letter, or telephone. The completed application should be submitted to the region where the applicant resides. For more information, a directory of designated offices statewide is listed on the DMH website. When you receive an eligibility letter from DMH after 90 days, this indicates that you are eligible for services. If eligible, you will be involved in making choices from the available resources to match your needs. Keep in mind, your participation in DMH services is voluntary. You are required to provide DMH with necessary and relevant information about your needs and resources such as access you may have to entitlement, insurance, and other services. DMH has the authority to maintain your personal information in a confidential record-keeping system. If you are accepted to receive DMH services, you have the right to participate and contribute to your service planning. If you accept DMH services, DMH's service providers may charge for services based on your ability to pay. If you receive a letter stating you are not eligible for DMH services, 
you can file for an appeal to reverse DMH's decision to deny services. DMH may need more information in order to determine a change in eligibility for services. When you file for an appeal, DMH will provide you with contact information about how to initiate it. Within 10 days of receiving notification of the appeal, DMH will call for a meeting to resolve any issues to waive the decision. If the decision is not changed, you have the right to file for a Request for Reconsideration by petitioning the DMH Commissioner. This petition will allow a review by the Commissioner, who will issue a decision within 20 days. DMH provides a continuum of services for children, adolescents, and adults. On the DMH website, you can find applications on the following. Children, ages 6 to 16. Adolescents, ages 16 to 18. And adults, ages 18 and over. Each application has different guidelines for those applying for DMH services. Applicants must document serious and long-term mental illness that have resulted in functional impairment. This mental illness must interfere with one or more major life activities, in school, out in the community, or within the family. It is critical that the application be completed by a clinician to provide relevant clinical information. This application enables DMH to establish the diagnosis. DMH uses diagnostic criteria as defined in the DSM-4 for qualifying a mental disorder. This qualifying disorder must have continued for at least one year and are listed as schizophrenia and other psychotic disorders, mood disorders, dissociative disorders, eating disorders such as bulimia and anorexia, borderline personality disorder, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder for children and adolescents, and any co-occurring disorders such as an individual with a substance abuse problem who also has a mental health disorder. DMH has a specialized mental health unit for deaf people at Worcester Recovery Center and Hospital, WRCH. You can find more information on receiving treatment services by following the link below. If you're experiencing a mental health and or substance abuse crisis and you feel like you need support, we have an emergency service program called an ESP available to help you out. Visit the link below for locations near you where emergency service programs are provided so that you can avoid hospitalization or other serious issues that may ensue.